Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I thought I would bring you guys this very dewy, nice look. So I found a tip from two of my friends, Taylor and Sky. I'll post their social medias down below so you guys can follow them. They, what they do is they spray their um, face with like a setting spray every step that they do their face routine. So when they put on their foundation, they spray their face. And then when they go in with concealer, they spray their face. So what I found with that trick is it really makes your skin very, very dewy and really really nice and gives you like this beautiful glow so i thought i would show you guys today and i would show you guys how i got this very simple long like big wing because um i took some pictures yesterday and they came out so beautiful and i really wanted to recreate the look but with a different pigment so this is the look that i created and i hope that you guys like it make sure that you guys check out sky and taylor and let's get right into it all right you guys so i kind of have a little bit of concealer not too much because i'm gonna use like a black base um, to create the liner that I have. I already did one eye. Okay, so I am going to create a bit of a bigger wing than I did yesterday, starting off with the corner portion of my eye and then bringing it upwards. Yesterday when I did this look, the wing was, it was big, but it wasn't like how I'm doing it today. I'm making it a bit bigger than I had it yesterday. Um, and I'm putting down a black base, but since I'm going in with the gold pigment, you don't necessarily need the black base because it's not going to do anything. Because yesterday I had like this pigment. It's like, I don't know, it's like a very greenish, purpley pigment. Um, so the black base made that pigment more intense. But this, since it's gold, like you don't necessarily need the black base, but I'm just using it regardless anyways. I just want to use it because it's going to stick. Like I want the pigment to stick to something, so that's why I'm using the black base. But you can use whatever you want. So I'm creating a wing, and it's kind of going to go connected down here. And it's not like perfect because I'm going to clean it up anyways. But So don't worry, like don't feel like it has to, has to be perfect. It could be messy, and then you go back and you clean it up with concealer, and you'll be good, you know what I'm saying? Also, I really wanted to focus on skin today because I've been really trying to take like more time with my skin. I feel like skin, for me, is very hard, and usually something that I never take my time with, so sometimes you'll see in my video that my skin looks not the best. Um, so today I really want to focus on my skin. Again, and I want to show you what I've been doing and let's just get this wing on all right you guys I'll have like my wing it's so fucking big oh my god it's so big I'm just cleaning around it like with whatever concealer I had clean up my brow and I'm doing this very carefully because I don't want to get the black concealer like on this part of my eyes um, so yeah just be very very careful and then we're gonna put on the pigment and she's gonna look so cute it's like the quickest eye look I've ever done which I'm kind of happy like I, sometimes I do get tired of like doing a lot of half cut creases and I know that some of you guys are like dang another half cut crease so you know what this is this is a change you know be happy for me be happy so the pigments that I'm using are from a brand called blush tribe they're so so pretty and the one that I'm taking is G yeah I don't know how to say it it's supposed to be a loose pigment it's pretty gold and really nice i really really like it and what i'm going to do is spread this all over you see how pretty that is oh my gosh like i really want to take pictures outside because it's like it's golden hour well not right now it's gonna be golden hour and when like the um sun hits these loose pigments they just look absolutely stunning and they photograph so nicely on camera it kind of sucks because like you can't really see how beautiful they actually look but when i take pictures outside they look absolutely stunning and so i just i really cannot wait to like take them outside oh beautiful oh my god i just love makeup so much it's okay if it like gets out of the little line and it comes right here you could just clean it up right now this is why i do my foundation afterwards those that do foundation 
and then eyes like you your mind is just so powerful you know what i'm saying but i just can't do it i can't do that i can sometimes when it's like minimal shadow but i can't do it when it's like this because i don't want it to get all over my foundation all right you guys so i'm done with the eyes we are moving on to the skin so as far as skin i've been very very like trying to make sure that my skin looks as like nice and you know because when you struggle with acne it's very hard to hide your texture um and i am very dry so i try to obviously make sure that i don't look so crusty and dry so what i'm going to do is i'm going to spray my face with anastasia's dewy set mist um all over my face and then you let that set in and since i'm trying to achieve like a very glowy kind of like look i'm going to take my milk hydro primer i'm going to put it in the back of my hand and with a clean brush i'm going to place that all over my skin just really quickly so i feel like a lot of the times people think because you are um have acne or texture that you are not allowed to be dewy and you are okay you are i do not like mattifying my face at all because i feel like that just makes me look really crusty and i'm not trying to look crusty you know what i'm saying okay now the foundation that i've been using as of lately i have been changing it up like so many damn times is the derma blend cover cream um and i am in the shade sun beige i was using the makeup forever foundation stick and the milani foundation stick but i did find that that makes me look even more dry and i think i'm gonna like throw that routine out i do like the makeup forever foundation stick that one is my favorite but when i mixed the two of them um it, it wasn't that great at first it was but now i just don't really like it. so i have to like kind of dig my finger in there um, make sure your hands are clean i don't really like to dig my finger in there but i don't have the little spoon so oh well we're just gonna have to do what we gotta do okay so now i'm going to put it on my skin again if you are acne prone um or just in general make sure that your hands are clean so you don't want to be spreading any bacteria onto your skin always important and then i am going to take a sponge and go in and i never try to fully fully cover like my spots that i have you guys can see that they're very very visible that's okay with me Again, um, I don't try to overwhelm my skin with too much um, foundation because I am layering other products like contour and highlight. And since I do have texture, I try to minimize the visibility of that texture, if that makes sense. Oh, I think I'm getting better at explaining things. All right, you guys, so I have a nice layer of foundation on my skin. Now, the key for dewy skin is I am going to, again, spray my face with the mist. Um, I found this technique from my friend Sky and Taylor. I will put their, like, um, names up here. Um, they always spray their face when they're done with each step of their face routine. So I'm going to go ahead and spray my face and just let that set into my skin. Now, I didn't spray too, too much, just a little bit. And then I'm gonna take my Milani concealer in 120 and conceal my under eyes, the bridge of my nose, a little bit of my forehead. I have a massive planet there, but I'm still gonna highlight, I don't really care. Spray my sponge just a little bit and then go in and blend all of that out now i like to do this trick where i stick my finger in my nose when i get the corners of my nose because that tends that area tends to get really red so you want to do that just a little trick it's not like i'm picking my nose okay i'm not also when you're doing this you want to make sure that you like blend you know um, take your time blending that way your product actually melts into your skin it looks nice and blended another spritz just like so. I'm going to take the Milani Translucent Light to Medium Powder. And with the tiniest amount, I'm not baking at all. I'm just setting the concealer that I had. Not a lot because I'm not trying to look super dry. That's not my goal. And you can use this to set around your face just a little bit. You also want to tap off the axis, axis, axis. I don't know what it is. Whatever. One of those. I'm like so focused in this video. I just 
you know i just want to get this right for you guys you know i like doing how-to videos where i'm like teaching in a sense not that i'm like the best teacher not that i'm a pro at all but i just like to use like the steps that i've been learning and you know tell them to you guys you know there's still some people that are beginners in makeup and i thought why not you know all right you guys this is when i like to go back in with my waterline i am taking this milani metallic lights eyeliner pencil pencil and golden beam i'm going to use that to um, line my waterline and i'm gonna take that pigment and put it right into my waterline like so and then connect it outwards another spray to the face I'm gonna take my Milani Suntan Bronzer and I'm gonna use this to contour my face rather than bronze my face. Can I be honest with you guys? I don't know the difference between bronze and contour. <laughs> Can someone tell me what it is? And like, this is probably so embarrassing, but I truly, really do not know the difference. So yeah, I'm sorry. Also, I wanna use a little bit of contour. I, I noticed that I tend to go very heavy with my contour and I just end up looking really just not cute. So I'm just using just a tiny bit. Now this is one of my favorite techniques. I do this regardless even when I'm not spraying my damn face every single step. I always like to spray um, a setting spray or whatever um, on my face before I put on my highlight because it's going to intensify your highlight. So again, I'm gonna spray my face I will also spray my brush just a little bit I'm gonna take Black Moon's Glow Worm which is my favorite highlighter and I'm going to highlight points of my cheek and look at how pretty that is it's just so pretty I put my inner corner star and I'm going back in with Glow Worm and this is what I use for the inner portion of my inner corner eye whatever um you guys know i like to use white but because i wanted the look to be very like cohesive is that the word too um i used this because i felt like it matches kind of like this gold, gold theme you know what i'm saying so that's what I'm, gonna, what I'm going to use for my inner corner eye today and i also put it on my brow bone um it looks a little intense but i actually really like it you don't have to go like this intense please focus oh my gosh first you have me looking orange and then you just don't want to focus by the way these are acne marks as well it's not like it looks muddy i think i've talked about it before usually when you know people have acne sometimes it could look like that but it's not okay let us live i'm taking off this inner corner eye boom hey cinderella do 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 Here's another little trick that I like to do. I like to take another one of Blush Tribe's pigments, and this one is called Kimberly, and I like to put it on my um, cheekbones, and I'm gonna show you guys right now. So I'm taking a little bit, and I'm putting it, that was actually a lot, sorry, my bad. Just a little bit on my cheeks. So when I go outside and I take my pictures, this highlight is really gonna pop. Okay guys, so while my lashes are like getting tacky, I need to burp, hold on. Uh. Oh, yes. Okay, I'm going to take Kristen Dominique's Babe. I really like this liquid lipstick formula. I got them sent like a while ago and they were just sitting there for like a minute. And I shook it because they're really, really good. And the formula is really, really nice and like the smell is really good too. So I'm going to put a little bit of Babe. Actually, I'm going to mix Babe with Nude Kiss. It looks like this because baby's a little too pink i don't want a lot of oh yes this one right here and i'm not gonna line my lip because i don't know i just sometimes i feel like i don't look right when i line my lips i look weird my lip shape is not like what's that one word what's that one word they're not symmetrical there you go so i just i'm not gonna line them it's like when i do line my lips they just make it just looks more like not symmetrical you know i'm gonna take dubai lashes by the makeup shack you guys already know you guys can use my code rocio for 20 percent off and pop those ones on all right you guys i'm not done with the lips i want to add a gloss i'm taking morphe's trippy gloss i love this gloss so much i have like three of these because it's so good and they're so affordable as well and i'm gonna use that to um, put on top of this liquid lipstick. All right, you guys. So one last spray. I'm actually gonna take the Wet n Wild Cucumber Prep Plus Set Plus Refresh. This is so much. I you just just say it's a setting spray, man. I'm gonna take it and I'm going to set my whole entire face with this. 
and that is the final look and my skin i feel like it looks really damn good for someone that has acne prone skin i want to emphasize that your skin is so beautiful regardless no matter what it is just acne and i feel like my eye look really beautiful and i really do feel myself right now and so should you you should always feel yourself every single day i know obviously we have bad days whatever but you're still fucking beautiful and that's the tea all right so i hope that you guys really like this look and i will see you guys in my next tutorial bye guys